Hello everyone, this is Benita and welcome back to another video of the Checkout Upsell plugin. In this video, I'm so excited to introduce you to the wonderful new feature of the Checkout Upsell plugin, which is Card Add-ons. This valuable addition was created specifically for your WordPress-powered online store to enhance its functionality. Imagine making your customers' shopping experience even better by offering them optional add-on products or services as they browse your store. This seamless and convenient feature allows for intuitive upselling, giving your customers the opportunity to add complimentary items or services to their cart. For example, let's say a customer purchases an iPhone 14 and then we would like to offer a gift wrap along with the iPhone with this cart add-on feature. Great. So let me show you quickly how to create one. Well. We will have to start off by creating the campaign first for the card add-on and this we're going to do by going to check out upsell campaigns tab. So click on campaigns tab to start creating your new campaign by clicking on this create new campaign button and select the card add-on feature. This will allow you to configure one. So let me call this a test card add-on campaign. Well, the first field that we're going to deal with in this campaign is the filters. You can either go for a specific product or choose for the add-on to appear on all the products or specific product categories. In this example, I'm going to show you how to do it for a specific product. Let's say, for example, a customer adds t-shirt to his cart and then we present an add-on product such as cap for him to add it to the cart. So in order to do that, let's select specific products here and click on add filter and choose the product to be present in the cart in order for the add-on to appear so let me put t-shirt here nice now let's go to the next option which is to choose the product suggestion method for this campaign you can either go for all related products or cross-sell products or upsell products or custom products as well but in this case i'm going for a specific product which is cap so let me click on specific product and choose the product to be cap here Great. Now, after you select the specific product, which is to be presented as an add-on in the cart, you can go for the next field, which is cart item quantity field. You can choose what this specific product that is to be added as an add-on in the cart quantity has to be. So, if you click on this drop-down, you'll be able to see three options, which is allow customer to change quantity. You can select this if you want customers to choose quantities of cap. And then if you want to sync quantity with parent product quantity, which means whatever the quantity of t-shirt product customers has entered, the same number of quantity will apply for the cap as well. Or you can also go for fixed quantity. Let me select allow customer to change quantity. All right. Then the next one is to choose the display location on product page, which is after cart item name. All right. Great. You can also choose if this particular product needs a discount or not. That is the add-on products. So let me go for a percentage discount of 20%. Nice. Now here's the template. This is how the add-on is going to look on the card page. You can also change the template if you want by clicking on change template and go for something like this as well. Great. You can also go for custom styling by enabling this option and customizing this particular appearance further. You can also go for conditions if you want for this particular campaign, but now I'm going to keep it very simple. Let me now save this particular campaign and you'll be able to see that the status of this campaign is currently active. Let me take you to the card page and show you what happens. Now we are on the card page. Right now we do not see any add-on product because the eligible product for the add-on is not added to the card yet. So let me first add the eligible product, which is t-shirt and then show you what happens. Let's go to the shop page and add t-shirt. Here we go. Now we can notice that t-shirt is successfully added to the cart. And since we have only made t-shirt eligible for the add-on product, you can see this particular drop-down up here. Now click on the drop-down and select cap if you want to add this to your cart. You can also see a percentage discount of 20% is applied on this particular add-on product. Now all that customers need to do is click on this add-on and you'll be able to see that the cap as an add-on product is added to the cart. This is how it works. 
Now, in case you select all products, you'll be able to see add-ons specifically for all products that are present in the cart. All right, great. We are confident that this feature will be a game changer for your business and we can't wait for you to try it out. Thank you so much for watching.